Hi writers, welcome back. Uh, yesterday we worked on adding details to our reasons to convince our readers to share the same opinion as us. Today we're towards the end of our book, so we're going to be writing our conclusion page or our ending page. Writers keep their readers thinking and they say goodbye on this ending page by first repeating their opinion, then repeating their big reasons for the opinion, and by lastly telling the readers to go and do something, like try it. So today we're going to be working on following these three steps to write our conclusion page or our ending page for our opinion books. So in your packet, the ending page says ending on top. Um, when I sketched across my pages, I showed like a little picture of Prospect Park and I wrote Prospect Park is so much fun to help me remember. So the first thing I have to do is repeat my opinion. Okay, so what was my opinion again? Well, the whole book was about how I think Prospect Park is the best place to have fun. So now I just have to rewrite it. I think Prospect Park is the best place to have fun. Yeah, that was what my whole opinion piece was about. All right, so now I did my first thing. I repeated my opinion. See how I highlighted it on this page for us? The opinion was in yellow, so I highlighted it in yellow. I think Prospect Park is the best place to have fun. Now I did step one, I have to go on to step two. I have to repeat my big reasons. Hmm, so what were the reasons that I liked Prospect Park? Well, I said that they had lots of playgrounds, right? Um, I said they had lots of space to like run around and have picnics. And the last reason I had was that it has an ice skating rink. So now I'm going to list those here and I'm going to make sure I use that word because to share my reasons again. So it's the best place to have fun because it has fun playgrounds, comma, remember I'm listing my reasons. It has lots of space and it has an ice skating rink. So did you see how I repeated my big reasons here? I listed them, I used that word because, and then my reasons were it has those playgrounds, it has space, and it has that ice skating rink. And those reasons here match the reasons that I wrote earlier. All right, one more step to do, but before I go on to that step, I wanna see how I highlighted it here. So it's the best place to have fun because it has lots of playgrounds. It has, oops, supposed to be has, so much space and it has an ice skating rink. All right, one last step. Tell the readers to do something. So here we can say like, you should go to Prospect Park or go to Prospect Park. So let me see. Hmm. I'm gonna say, you should go have fun at Prospect Park. Yeah, I think that's gonna convince my readers. You should go have fun at Prospect Park. Hmm. And I know some of your teachers have taught you you should also rate it. So I give it five stars. All right, writers, did you see how I did my last thing? I'm gonna highlight it in green for us here. I had to tell my readers to do something, and then I know many of us have learned already to rate our work. So I told my readers, you should go have fun at Prospect Park. I give it five stars. All right, readers, it's gonna be your turn. Writers, it's gonna be your turn now to go and write your ending page. Remember, the first thing you have to do is repeat your opinion 
The next thing you have to do is repeat your big reasons and list them. And the last thing you have to do is go tell your readers to do something, like try it. All right, take out your packets, get started.